Hey, it's Brian, and I want to answer one of the questions that I'm getting over and over, a lot of questions and a lot of feedback about my use of the phrase spell break and spell breaker, and the fact that people started calling me the spell breaker, and that I've kind of playfully taken that name on. I've got a few of my sharp business advisor friends saying, oh man, that's not very mainstream, you know, you might turn people off. Well, I'd like to clarify what it's all about and why it might actually be the most accurate way of explaining what I do. Throughout history, throughout all time, the knowledge of spells has it's been pretty much universal. And whether it was related to magic or witchcraft or whatever, it was pretty widely known that people fell under spells. And here's one simple example. Are heights scary? Well, if you ask one person to say heights are absolutely terrifying, another person will say, no, nah, get put me on the tallest roller coaster in the world. So heights aren't scary. But when someone feels absolutely terrified of heights and they would go so far as to say heights are scary and they try they struggle they wrestle to overcome it but they seem unable to do anything about it they're obviously under some type of a spell a spell is simply a psychological mental emotional state that holds a person because once we take on a belief about something we have an experience that locks us into we know what is we're under a spell and I don't want to go too far uh, into the really far out stuff here. If, if you're not familiar with this, you might want to watch some of my other videos. But in an infinite universe, with infinite possibilities and an infinite number of variables, there is no concrete truth about this being good and that being bad and heights being scary or not, money being hard to get or easy to get. But different people experience it that way, and people will defend their positions, their opinions, and their beliefs sometimes to the death. Why? Because when you believe something, the universe has no choice but to bring you constant evidence of it. Maybe you know someone who has a really hard time with money. They're just as smart, just as skilled, just as good or not good looking, according to other people's opinions, as anybody else. They have time and talent. They've got skills and knowledge. They've taken money courses and business courses. And one person, under those circumstances, just flies through making money. And another person, no matter what they do, they just can't seem to make any money. Is money different for them? No. One has some beliefs, some values, some core energetic stuckness. They're under a spell that money is something other than the rest of the energy, just like the entirety of the universe's energy. At the energetic level, there's no difference between air and money. But boy, in our minds, is there. Now to take this to the next level, what about someone with asthma? Someone who at times finds air almost impossible to get. They have a belief in that same way about air. Yeah, we can get down into a debate about all the medical causes, but too many miraculous experiences, uh, I've experienced too many miraculous experiences myself of seeing people who were scared of heights snap out of it. People who couldn't make money snap out of it. And people with a label, asthma, snap out of it to where it never was an issue again. So what I do in my work, I look out at a world full of people with all of us having one or more spells. Okay, and get into some of my other videos because I want to keep this uh, as brief as possible, but there's tons and tons of spells on tons of topics. That's a technical scientific term, tons. <laughs> and so what I do in my work is I help people to shift their core paradigm from the spell that they're under into an awareness, a literal awareness of what we all intellectually know now that the universe itself is a living conscious energy. We're under a spell that it's a physical mass that we have to battle against and struggle with our physical bodies to win and bring home the bananas. I help people to shift that paradigm to the reality, not just the intellectual understanding, but the reality that we live in an infinite universe of infinite energy and infinite possibilities where nothing is stuck and nothing is solid and nothing is stable and there's literally infinite possibilities to transform and change anything in every second right now and after that is done after that paradigm is shifted I work with people continuously as, as far as they want to go to actually shift the smaller parts of their paradigm to rise up to meet that paradigm and along the way we encounter the spells things we picked up from our parents things we picked up from our culture, things we picked up from governmentally controlled educational systems and medical systems. I help people to actually snap out of those spells and step back into, oh, 
oh wow, oh infinite possibilities. And it is miraculous to watch some of the breakthroughs and the transformations that literally happen within seconds of someone having one of these spell break sessions with me. It is just, it, it amazes me as much as it amazes the people watching and participating. So I invite you to see some of the spell break sessions. I'm going to put links to several of those underneath this video so that you can see some examples of that. I invite you to participate in some of our programs. I'll be doing a lot of online free workshops where you can come and experience. And I just invite you to open your mind. What would it be like to be free of all spells, to step right now, right here, into a world and a life and a business of infinite possibilities in every second where there was no struggle, no challenges, no bad days, and nothing was hard or easy? Free. The way you really are. The way life really is. Thanks for watching. Namaste.